but uh, the the thing is talking about winning and losing um, it, it I think it's a process I think uh, um, to to win you have to uh, uh, to lose and to learn to win it's it's a process to get in there it's nothing you can uh, earn from from uh, one sleeping night and uh, thinking right. It's a process. You learn, you train hard, you lose games and uh, you learn from these games and become better. To improve is, is part of uh, being human. <laughs> That's no, I would philosophy. No, no, no. <laughs> so human, human behavior is to survive. Okay, and you do this by not improving. <laughs> so, uh, no, are you talking about fossils? No. No, in general, the, the, uh, human beings is uh, basically on a stone age. So if I eat too much, my my body gets fat. And uh, my body don't know that Aldi has opened almost 24-7. So I would love that my body knows I can get food everywhere and don't have to store the energy for the next ice age. So that is that, that is given condition, but I think you're right if you say when you have a, the turning point is always when you're not successful. Then you have to be improvement. Exactly, you have to make a decision. Yeah, you want to be uh, successful, no, and that's no, no, no. You, when you're not. You, you're doing your pattern, you're doing your training, your training program, your ideas, and something like that, and you will be only. Uh, getting better or the release really, the changes when the team is not successful or the, 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 it's something's not working so when I was taking over 2013 the German team they were not successful they, they had no no perspective where to go what is the next activity so it was easier for me to put much more pattern new pattern into the team um, which makes the stand successful now is the challenge with this team to keep the status because once they thought they, they, they were world champion they think that's forever this was one game on one day true well huh? you 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 at the same time um they they were not successful but you were lucky you had a team of very good players very experienced players and you put it into a form where they could use this experience they had with the single players and put it in the form of a team and, and that's what made it successful. Um, but the, it was, you, you, you're lucky to have really good players there. You have, one, you have some of the top players. I would say I had very talented players, but I put a lot of new players in the team on key position. And I put, keep or put people into the position where the other people said to me in the beginning how you can do that. So you have to follow up your, your strategy and with, uh, with, uh, with the coach. Uh, assistant coach of uh, Tanya, who had a lot of experience. It was an ex excellent match, and you have to have, of course, uh, the, the willingness of the players that they want to do it. Okay, thank you very much for the insight. Um, now let's go back in the game. Uh, this will be interesting. Finland uh, Nasud against Germany Langen. Now we will see the second game of uh, Langen in this Champions Cup 2016 here in Berlin. Third game. Third game already? Yes. Hopes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they play yesterday um, against. Um, hold on, da, 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 I have the groups here. Uh, they play against. Uh, ah, yes, Fidense the Italy game. Yes, and, yes. and New York. Yes. So, what is your prediction of this game, uh, Jörg? Just uh, quick. Based from the from the result yesterday's. Uh, where Finland and Lang played against uh, New York, they have almost the same score. Um, it depends uh, how Langen is able to really establish uh, a, a system. I wasn't really impressed by the game of Langen until now. So let's see what they can do. Langen is under pressure. Um, they they uh, are attacked by Nasud and forced into defense. We have a, a a quick cluster on the surface now and there's a fight right in front of the uh, German basket that was a crit to the head and thing is a call uh, free throw against Nasud and this will be the chance the first chance in this first half uh, of Langen to reach the uh, finish basket let's see how they establish their uh, attack pattern 
they, there seems to be a little uh, wow misunderstanding in in the team play. They they don't find their their partners to pass the ball to, and now they are uh, going forward to the basket from the close side. They try to ah uh, this th many many pass mistakes I see here in this uh, in this attack. Uh, they threw the ball right. Uh, in, in nowhere and it wasn't received by their uh, uh, by their players. Interesting because uh, uh, Langen is a very ex experienced uh, team and they should uh, not make mistakes like that. So uh, Nasud again uh, in ball possession coming in uh, in the half, uh, in the pool half of uh, Langen. There is one Nasud player all along with three uh, Langen players now in the middle. But um, here we go, we are at the basket of Langen and this is a dangerous situation um, solved by tackling away the attacker with the ball but this always rips open the defense now uh, Langen recover the ball and try to swim into the half of N Finnish Nasud uh, from the closed uh, wall side and here we are back again on the uh, Finnish basket and uh, same tactics by Nasu tackling away the attacker with the ball. We have cluster on the surface on the wall, and uh, now the ball is uh, again on the open side. And they're coming in, try to come in, but they every effort by Langen to reach the basket is tackled away um, yeah, by, the, by, by the finish. By the finish for checking. This is not uh, beautiful rugby, but it's it's efficient and. Um, now there is a Langen player waiting under the basket, but uh, as we've seen before, the uh, Langen players don't succeed on passing the ball forward to their player, um, but still they're in the ball possession. But it, they, they are the coordination between the uh, between the team members is not that perfect as you would expect from a team as uh, Langen. And also to recover the ball and is now. Uh, going in attack mode in the direction of the half of Langen. But we see a lot of mistakes from both teams right now. A lot of passes going into nowhere. And this is again uh, Langen and the close side uh, of the pool in the 2-3 meter area in front of the Finnish basket. And they try to, to uh, establish their attack pattern um, and try to go in. I think it uh, Langen has uh, two less uh, women under the water, so that is, uh, from my point of view, quite shocking. Uh, because actually there are seven seven players. Players, yeah, exactly. Uh, which uh, belong to the German national team, so and uh, basically they should be able to control the game, the game much better. Yes. But, uh, they have a basically, th actually, they have a good mixture in the team. A very old, experienced pe uh, players. Uh, they have uh, actual uh, national players. They have young players. They have uh, young uh, from the un uh, uh, under 21. They have the national player. Um, therefore, basically, the from the I would say material, they mm -hmm. have enough capability, but. Uh, they don't function well here in this no, game. No, they are not underwater. They are not on a position. So it's uh, becoming, as again, pressure, pressure game. Uh, attacking the goal in the first attack, try to make the goal. And it, that doesn't work. So the, it's underwater rugby. That means they should be underwater and they should control the ball. You can do this for 10 minutes and then you find the spot where you bring the ball. But if you go to the to direct attack, you go in a close contact to the keeper and then they have a chance to react. And if you not uh, act, you have to react. It doesn't matter if you have yep. the ball or not. Yep. So that is uh, what, what uh, Langen, they're, they're always coming too close to the, to the goal and they're not on the bottom. There's n on the, if you see the, the first line on the goal and the second line, this is the almost empty spot. And you will see a good team will have people on this position. You have two people on the, on the surface. There can be one, can be weight under the water. There don't have to be two. Yep. So that means uh, the, the position is 
never covered really. Mm. The team play of Langen is uh, not what uh, what I think it should be. Um, they they don't work together as a pack as a, as a well uh, oiled machine, but they try to do uh, single attacks, and um, they these attacks are uh, easily tackled away by the Finnish uh, um, defense. Yeah, they are not putting really pressure on the on the Finnish yeah. uh, goal actually because they don't have uh, really the um, they are not building the waves with enough players. Um, and we welcome uh, Tarkan on the live chat. Hello Tarkan, hope you slept well. Um, and I uh, hope you enjoy watching the games right now. Now we have uh, Nasud uh, attacking Langen, uh, the basket, and the, the, the counter attacker, the ball uh, carrier, was uh, at the head of the Langen goalkeeper. And that was a dangerous situation. Could have been even the goal. Um, and it's surprisingly how easy it is for Nasud to break through the uh, the middle field and the forechecking defense of uh, Langen. I guess this uh, game will be decided by one single action yeah. of one Thanks single so player. Yeah. yeah. So that will be not a team result. Uh, and that is, uh, I would say, it's not the attitude which Langen should have in this, this tournament when they're going to win. Uh, or they hoped or considering to win the, this this uh, tournament, so yeah. it's one-to-one um, -one action, and that is I would never bet on such things. No, no. that's true. So Besides, so Regina has the ball. That is what would be the only one I would yeah. <laughs> give one hundred percent chance. But if uh, if you see this, uh, you can. Basic Nasut is also not good in forechecking, so if you have a very bu the the ball control much more in the offense uh, would be much better. And you see the Nasut going on, on the top with yes. the ball. They don't, yeah. they yeah. don't yeah. take they don't the, the counter attack on, on, the, on, the, on the bottom. So they have no position, something like that. So that sh should give also a sign for Langen to put much more speed. Right? Concentrated balls. This was a, a pass for nothing. Giving a, a, a someone just to give someone. And they have right no there, control. no one. The ball was laying on the f on the, on the field. floor. Yeah. Yeah. It's more like uh, uh, room protection than attacking the players. So that enables uh, Nasud really uh, uh, to get out of the defense, and that helps uh, to take some more breaths. And it looks sometimes here in the game that it's it's uh, that the referee stopped the game. No, the they yeah, take true. a break. So I that mean is it's strange. So, so far, for what I've seen uh, in the the women teams, Akaren has yes. been really playing as a team with a very nice tactic. So now today, when we can see Castores playing against uh, Akaren, uh, that say? will be the, yeah. the game. Yes, yes this will be, will be the, the interesting game. It will show who is the favorite. Yeah. At the moment, after after their first first uh, day, I would say Akan will win this. Yeah, they Probably look like yes, yeah. Yeah. Continue yeah. 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 playing like that. To play like that. Yes. And and I think uh, Nasud will will that game will win that game. Um, it, it's just a feeling. But if they break through one time and uh, reach the Langen basket, I think uh, the they will score. So zero zero in the first half here in Champions Cup 2016 in Berlin. Uh, um, I have Lorena with me and Jörg Otto. I'm Wolf from Sparta Berlin, and this uh, first half uh, is zero zero. And uh, hi everybody, hi on the World Rugby World. Um, well, we uh, like uh, Jörg already said, uh, this will be decided by uh, a, a lucky shot of one player. And uh, that will be it, because both teams don't uh, establish a pattern where they can uh, force a goal. They just go in one-on-one -on -one and... Uh, no one is really dominating right yes. now. They are yeah, playing on the f of the mistakes on the other team. So they get the ball and they try to do something, they do a mistake, and the other team gets the ball. That's more or less... Langen, Langen has so many experienced players in the team, and really I, I, I very potential players and which I would uh, count on but uh, they are try to to decide the game by themselves yes not yes. as a team no so um, I think that's somehow the, the, the tactics uh, or the 
in this. There's no, there's a lot of players come together, but they they have a goal, but I don't know if they really have the goal that as they're a team, yeah, you know, and to, to play nice rugby. Um, but 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 as if, if you're so experienced as players, you should work together as a machine. You should no, have no, the, no, the no 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 the opposite because then I, I think we have here Kati. Kati is one of our most successful players in the in the, in the uh, 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 underwater rugby scene in in Germany. But uh, the first two games, she was totally inefficient. Mm. And uh, if if she will never by herself take away the responsibility. So the coach of this team should say, stay in the back, do this, and not try to do that you win the game, try to bring other people in position. Then she's much more effective, and then, but if she is, is trying hard, then the next one is trying hard, and then it's not a team thing. No, and we saw it yesterday, uh, playing against uh, USA. It took them over five minutes to score the first uh, goal because they were doing all alone attacks and they were not playing as a team. And then the, the game developed a little bit better and they started working as a team and then they started scoring. Yes, I, I, I'm, I'm always wondering and, and that uh, there's still some things which I'm underwater rugby I cannot understand. When uh, the attack on one side of the goal of the other side of the goal, there is a, is a, a person uh, laying beside the goal and putting the hands behind the goal. Uh, totally out of physics. Their ball cannot go through the go goal <laughs> through on the other side. So yeah, it's, that's it's, true. It's, and they are always laying people and saying, ah, I did not get the ball. Yeah, yeah, how should it go there? <laughs> So let's go back in the game. Um, here, uh, Nasut uh, from Finland against Langen from Germany. It's 0-0. Zero zero. And, um, well, at least the commentators are uh, not impressed with what we've seen uh, until now. So maybe the both teams get a prep talk uh, in, the, in the break and uh, change some of their uh, um, uh, system. But it's difficult if it's not working to change it uh, uh, within two minutes. Um, but my guess would uh, actually be on uh, Nasut uh, right now. Uh, I, I guess it will be 0-0 zero, zero and then it's a penalty shooting. That's true. That will be the first uh, penalty shooting here in uh, Champions Cup 2016. There's a call from the referees. Um, grip on the mask or on the hat. And it's a free throw against Langen. So, uh, the Nasu does not execute uh, very fast. I think it's always an opportunity to get an advantage if you score very fast. Now we did see uh, uh, the free throw was interrupted uh, before the Nasu player could execute. So it's a, a redoing. Here we go. Nasu is going in uh, from the close side to the Langen basket. Coming over the goalkeeper, trying to push through a tackle away by a Langen player. And um, we're still on the closed side. And uh, Nasud is in ball possession, but they cannot break free. They're stopped by the Langen players in the corner. Yeah, but this what? Uh, two, ah, the two the less action uh, in the defense and the offense as well. And the mistakes by, by, by passing are bo uh, uh, both teams are very high. The, the one uh, uh, thing which is uh, weakening Langen is the experienced peop uh, players, they, they play two defense. They uh, play too conservative. Oh, look, this is a really a risky situation on Langen goal. And the goalkeeper was holding her partner, pressing on top of the of the basket, but it was really. Um, no, it was not serious. The goalkeeper protect, and the other goalkeeper pushed down. That was not. That was. But not it was. It's the first. But it's. But it's the first situation that we see that it got I'm so more close. I'm more afraid that uh, there was no uh, uh, attacks uh, or forechecking uh, by the counter. Yep. And here you see it again. They have the ball possession, and they get they 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 are not using their fins. 
No, it no. Seem, it seems that Langen you stop uh, make them swimming in, in order to give him to give her, the ladies a ball and that so she stop using the fence. So yes, there was a cluster on the dusting. surface, and it's a free throw um, against Nasud. The, the, um, yeah, they're quite static and. Okay, when Champions Cup, you know, the, the teams are nervous, but since they have that many experienced players on the team, you know, that shouldn't be really a factor. Do you know how many uh, World Champion titles are in the water? Tell me. Count. A lot. No, a, a lot. The, 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 the Heike has at least two, I guess. Exactly. Uh, Kirpi has so two from the older players. Ria has some. So it uh, shouldn't be an so issue. There are so many world champions on the already yeah. uh, on the in the rows of Langen. And then so it's really surprising. Basically, they, ha they should control the, 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 the game the with the yes. game 100%. Yes. So, so let, let's stay in the game. Uh, let's uh, go in because Langen is uh, attacking fiercely now. We had uh, they were tackled make away. Make a decision of seriously. Pardon me. Make a make a. Uh, Definition of serious. No, uh, seriously, seriously, fiercely. They fiercely. they try to get in yeah. with with one-on-one uh, -on -one players, yeah. but they are tackled away too easily. They don't uh, establish a, a situation where they can use a gap uh, in the change of the goalies um, to to break in and and to score. And it, it takes too long for the other players to get in the the before the attacking ball carriers. Uh, tackled away and um, it definitely we have five minutes left in the second half this could be a chance for uh, Langen to score now they put pressure on the uh, Nasut basket but it's uh, for no, no no use they cannot uh, put the energy into into scoring they don't succeed and uh, it's four minutes a little bit more than four minutes left and the defense of Nasut is doing a good job interrupt the attack of uh, the Langen players and now uh, Nasut uh, uh, got the ball but it's tackled away on the surface we have a cluster on the surface and the time is ticking and uh, clustering on the surface doesn't help this game at this point and both teams have to score to make a decision as I said either it's a one-to-one -one position or it will be in a penalty throw. There's no team really dominating no. and uh, you cannot see really a trend of con ball possession. Um, yes, or, or yeah, a pattern. The, 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 the most successful game in, in Germany is the national team in the final in Cali. Yeah. The German team has 11 minutes in the first half the ball position. I and think... Uh, and sorry. that is ball control. So now Nasud is on, the, on attacking but also from the top and uh they come from the from the close side on the head of the goalkeeper from Langen and that was a dangerous situation and I think Nasud could uh, uh, score uh, um, if, if they are lucky but both teams just no, don't have the edge to, to go in it's uh, um they are not forcing the situations they are trying they're not forcing the mistake they are playing out of the mistake that the other teams mm. does and that's a very big difference exactly. Mm. Exactly. You you only control a, a game when you're controlling. If you're just and you force the mistake. Nah, nah, and then force a mistake. And the, the, the any benefit of uh, each team, it's it's a f mistake of the other. Again, long and there's only one girl under the water. That's not enough. No. Not enough to control and to win the game. Two and a half, uh, more a little bit more than two and a half minutes left in the second half of Nasud against Langen, and uh, I think it will be a zero, zero, and we will see penalties. Now we have a counter attack from Nasud, but not very decisive, and the pass right in front of the goal doesn't help anybody, and is tackled away to the surface. I think both teams don't really know how to to break uh, uh, the game of the other ones. We have a uh, Call from the referee is pointing to a player. I think it's a warning and a free throw against uh, Nasud. Yeah, free throw against Nasud. Two minutes left in this uh, second half. I think the chances uh, of uh, one of the teams scoring um, are diminishing. Um, probably the last chance for Langen to score. We have now one uh, of uh, the players under the basket, but she didn't succeed to push up the goalie and is tackled away again. 
Here we go, Langen succeeded. Okay, that was the shot we were talking about. Yeah. Uh, that's one the decision. Yeah. Um, but it easily could have happened, uh, as we've seen in the minutes before. Uh, I mean, nothing, nothing happened. So, yeah, 1 0 for uh, Langen. Okay, now in my sense this game is over because no one is controlling that really and uh, Nasut has not uh, the physical power to uh, do something against uh, this, this game. So Lang is uh, from the physical position strong enough to hold the, yeah, the last minute. definitely. So the game is done. Yeah. So well done uh, Langen. Lucky punch, but uh, I, I think if they want to win this this tournament they have to put a lot of effort yes. a lot of mind change uh, shift uh, into the game so i agree i totally agree it's 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 not enough what they do right here yeah and somehow yeah somehow <laughs> as an asset coach if you have a lot of uh, national players there eh? I cannot be. Uh, I cannot say I'm totally excited. happy. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah. I think next year yes. the camp is in January, so yes. So they have <laughs> again to to make a mindset change uh, there and uh, try something out. But it depends always on a, on a, on the situation and uh, on the people and uh, atmosphere. Um, so we, we don't see a change in this game and it's 1-0, okay, that's it. Um, as we predicted, uh, it was one uh, lucky shot um, and uh, this one belonged to Langen. I, I think both teams earned or didn't earn it to win this game, it was just uh, uh, luck they did. Uh, so Langen uh, uh, did win against Nasut here. And but uh, if they continue playing like that, I don't. And if they have to uh, play against Akaren, I don't think they're yeah. going to succeed. So there is no uh, need for you to excuse of uh, um, being in the live chat with your kids. Please give us more numbers, uh, Jan. Maybe those are the next numbers of the uh, uh, lottery, so we can win. Uh, don't mind. Uh, we like to have uh, uh, kids watching the games and being in the live chat, so uh, don't mind, no need to excuse. Thanks for watching, we have now, uh, how many people do we have in the live chat? Um, I believe 155, but this is what I can see right now. 155 yeah. here watching the championship, uh, Champions Cup 2016 in Berlin, um, which is uh, still the biggest tournament in underwater rugby worldwide. We have uh, uh, 